In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the jump rope double under. What's going on, JRD Nation? Brandon Epstein here from the Jump Rope Dudes, and as always, we're here to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. Now, I'm making this video today for all of you out there who've attempted to learn the double under, and for whatever reason, you've struggled and you just cannot get it down. You keep tripping over it, or maybe you can get one double under at a time, but if you try to do repetitions, you end up tripping over your rope. So please follow these steps I'm gonna give you in this video, and I guarantee you, you're gonna be able to do the double under consistently. Now, the first thing, even before I get into the main tips in this video, I wanna mention is that you need to believe it's possible. You're gonna hear me talk about this more and more in our Jump Rope Dudes video, because as long as you believe that it's impossible for you to do the double under, you're not gonna have the internal motivation to practice enough to actually learn the double under. So you gotta believe, say it to yourself right now, I believe I can do the jump rope double under, okay? Let's accept and surrender. In the past, you couldn't do it, and right now in the present, we're gonna learn it. Let's get after it. first tip that's gonna help you double under is to stop raising your hand so high. So many people, when they try to do a double under, end up raising their hands above their waist to try to do the double under. Now, it's gonna take some discipline, but you need to train yourself. To keep your hands down below your waist. Keep your arms extended when you're jumping up to do your double under. Just practice this over and over again. You can even practice it without a rope. Keep your hands below your waist extended when you do the double under. The next thing you need to stop doing is bringing your arms away from your body, okay? So that means you need to take your elbows and bring them towards your body and have your elbows actually hugging your waist down by your sides and bring your hands out to the side but keeping your arms up against your body. Now doing this is gonna make sure that your rope is long enough for you to be able to do the double under and not trip over it. So again, keep your arms next to your body. Now the next thing you need to do is make sure you really master the jump rope regular bounce before you move on to the double under. So this just might mean that you need to practice your regular bounce more before you start doing the double under. Now if you need help with this, we have a free seven day beginner jump rope challenge where we will help you master that regular bounce. So I'll link that up in the description below. But really it's about repetition. The better your jump rope regular bounce form is, the more easy it's gonna be when you try to move on to the double under. So practice, practice, practice. So the final tip I wanna give you is gonna be very simple. It's just to practice and try to practice at least five minutes a day doing the double under. Now in the beginning, you're gonna be tripping over your rope a bunch. You're gonna be forgetting some of the tips I gave you in this video. So try to just focus on one thing at a time. Try to focus on jumping straight up and down. Try to focus on keeping your hands below your waist. Try to focus on keeping your arms in towards your body. And the more you focus on each one of these elements, the double under, the more you're gonna master each piece, and then you're gonna be able to bring it all together. Now you may see Dan or myself and think, oh, it's so easy for them to double under. But I promise you, I had to go through the same learning curve. It literally took me hours of practice over and over again of tripping and remembering the right form to finally get the double under down. And once I got it one time, of course, I had to keep practicing to be able to do double unders consecutively. And the more and more I practiced, the better I got. So schedule five minutes a day, either before you start your jump rope workout or at the end of your workout, give yourself five minutes just to practice the double under. Now, if you want the jump rope we're using, we're using the cross rope. And I use the quarter pound cross rope that's in the get lean set whenever I do my double unders because I get a little bit of weight with that rope, but it's light enough so I can do tricks like double unders and still feel really agile with the rope. So if you want that, it's linked up in the description below for 10% off when you use the code do the thing. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. You can do the double under. And once you watch this video and master it, please let us know in the comments below so we can give you some love. And feel free to tag us on Instagram as well, official jump rope dudes, and show us your double under progress. All right, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, do the thing.